Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I have a pre-mark haul. So I'm just going to jump into it and get started because I have a lot of things to get through because I have a lot of homeware stuff. I have a few pieces of clothing and I have a lot of makeup and beauty bits. So yeah, let's just get started on the haul. Okay, so the first thing I have here is this top which is like a velvety kind of look and feel. It's really pretty. I've got this because it's a colour that I really do enjoy this time of year and also I thought it would be really nice for any kind of nights out or any party nights as well. I thought this would look absolutely gorgeous. So it's just a kind of short sleeved top that goes just down to your waist. Now this was £6. It's just a perfect little party piece especially for this time of the year. So yeah, really really enjoying this little top. Okay, so the next top I have is this one here. So I'm really liking this top because I've been absolutely obsessed with those sort of cold shoulder style tops, um, especially when you kind of tan your upper half of the body and like your like your shoulders that are peeking through are nice and tan. It just looks absolutely gorgeous. And I did wear it in my recent Topshop haul video, so if you want to see it kind of like on, well you can see it sort of like up to my up my upper half here. Um, you can see it on in that video. Then I'll link that below in the description box for you, so you can have a wee sneak at that. Okay, so next things I picked up are these hangers here, which are copper kind of wire hangers now I got these because I really want to revamp my wardrobe and my, like I really want to make it really nice and pretty and everything like that so I got these kind of copper slash rose gold kind of hangers I bought like a bunch of these I think I bought about six or so like packs of them and these are like three pound a pack for I think it's five you get in it two four yeah five like I have like lots more of them all just sitting about here and all the way over there and have some in my cupboard already just to test them out and they look absolutely stunning but yeah I'm really really loving these hangers Okay, so next things I picked up are two packets of LED fairy lights and they are actually hanging up in the back there, if you can see them, they're actually hanging up there. I got these for like my Halloween tutorials and they've just basically sat up there the whole time now. I haven't even bothered my bum to take them down. Um, so yeah, they're still up and these are only £2.50. Okay, so next thing I picked up are these here, which is a packet of hair wraps. So I bought these for a Halloween look, which I didn't get around to doing, but maybe I can do it next year and they'll come in handy for that. But again, I can just wear these when I come out the show and stuff like that as well because it keeps my hair tied back when I'm doing like makeup and stuff like that so like there's two different types in here you get this one here which is just like an ordinary towel band where it's just velcro which is great for you to tie your hair up and then you've got this one as well which is kind of a thicker one which is velcro as well for your hair so these are great little things when you come out the shower especially if you like do your makeup as soon as you come out the shower then that's really good because you can just put your wet hair back and do all your hair um, do all your makeup and then do your hair these were £1.50 okay so the next couple of things I picked up are some homeware bits and I'm going to start off first with my cushions because they are really really stunning okay so the first cushion I have is this one here which is pink and it feels really really soft it feels like a kind of velvety material and it has like these gold leafy feathers on it as well and this cushion was seven pounds okay so the next cushion i have is this metallic oblong cushion which is gorgeous it's a really kind of long rectangle one like that which is just perfect to pair up with that other pink cushion which is really pretty and yeah really liking this it's metallic on one side and it's like just like a velvety material on the back like a beigey velvety material and yeah it's a really nice puffy cushion as well like that so yeah really loving that on my bed as well and this was five pound okay and the last cushion i got is this one here which is a nice little peachy pinky round one with some gold metallic imprints on it there if you can see that so I got this to pair up with the other two pillows because on my bed I like to have a bunch of like cushions I don't like to have just one because I feel as if like just makes your bed look quite flat and I like my bed to look quite um quite puffy quite up and yeah brought out my bed sort of thing so I really, I really like um, a lot of cushions on it and yeah I bought the three to all match together really loving this little cushion and this was only four pounds okay so the next homeware bit I got to match my bedding is this fitted sheet here and this is for a double bed and this was five pound eighty so it is this kind of really deep plummy shade yeah, so I got that to match the bedding that I have, but the reason why this is not on my bed yet is because I actually want to wash this before I put it on my bed because I don't want it to rub against my like my actual bedding sheet because that's white. Um, so I don't want any kind of dye to come off this and that was only £5.80. So now I'm going to insert a little clip of my bedding. And you can see how pretty it looks with a nice little pink band along it and also the pink bits down the side of the pillow slips. So yeah, I'm going to insert a little picture of that now with all the cushions on my bedding and you can see what it looks like. So that 
is my bedding and that is a double bedding set and that was like £23 for like the bed spreads and the pillow slips so yeah so some more homeware bits I picked up is this candle here which is the scent Clementine and Honey and this is absolutely gorgeous, the scent of this is really really nice and um, I love how it comes in this like really simple plain jar with this black um, front on it here and it has a lid on it as well so it's just like a jar one, you just open up and the candle is like that inside and it smells absolutely delicious, it's really really fresh and yeah this was a £3 this candle so it's a bargain and it burns for it says 40 hours so yeah really liking that I love how simple it looks and it really reminds me of these kind of dealer candles you get nowadays like especially like from the Yankee and stuff like that as well so yeah really loving Primark's candles and they're getting so much better in terms of looking a lot more sophisticated and yeah really liking this and that was £3. Okay so next homeware bit I picked up is this here which is a little cute unicorn porcelain little tray. This just holds my rings and sometimes I put my necklaces on there as well. See so yeah, I just thought it was really pretty. It's a nice decorative piece. It looks perfect in blog pictures as well. So yeah I picked up for that and I really did need somewhere to hold my rings. And this was, do I have a price on this? So this was £4. Okay so moving on to some of the makeup and beauty bits I picked up. Um, first thing I picked up are these here which are just cosmetic oval pads for just removing your makeup and these were only 90 pence so it's really good for the amount that you get in this. Um, like there are literally like how many? There's a hundred pads in here which is great and I picked up two packets of these because usually in like super drug um, they can be quite expensive like they can be at least like nearly two pound or more for um, a packet that's like half the size it probably won't up to like where the pink bit is there. Um, so yeah, the next thing I picked up is this perfume here which is absolutely gorgeous like the smell of it is just incredible and um, it is the dream catcher perfume and i'm sure this is just new into premark and it is just really really delicious smell and um, so i'm going to open it and show you this is what the bottle looks like here the top bit does have like a little charm bracelet on it that comes with it but it can take that off because i don't like that on the bottle really but anyway this is the bottle and i just love the shape of it like it's such a funky shape it's all cut out like a sort of a diamond sort of thing which i think is just really really pretty so yeah this is what it looks like and it has like, this two tone here which is pink at the top and it fades into blue I love a lot of Primark's perfumes they are just really on point and they do linger for a long time and they're starting to do like a lot of kind of red because of like more higher end and designer frequencies which is just great so, yeah it smells absolutely delicious and do not ask me to describe this really because all I can really tell you is that it smells this is in the back here and the ingredients that it has like a lemon and citrus thing so yeah it's like a citrus and lemony smell which is really really gorgeous so I do recommend this if you are in Prima and this was only £6 so yeah really great little perfume for the price. Okay so moving on to some of the makeup bits that I got now I do have a lot to get through so yeah let's just get started on that. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is this lippy here which I'm actually going to do on my lips. Now I just topped up a little bit there because I've seen that it was starting to fade a little bit in like the like the corners here so I think I just topped up a little bit there just on the bottom part not on the top just, just in the bottom part not the top part Um, so yeah. This is a liquid, a super matte liquid lipstick and it is in the shade Kim. So I think like in Primark like a lot of their beauty and their makeup range are going for a lot of Kardashian sort of like um, dupes and stuff like that. They're starting to really pick up on what's trending now especially from the Kardashians. Um, so yeah, this is in the shade Kim and it does look something similar to the kind of pale uh, pinky shade that Kim does kind of wear quite a lot. This is quite nice, it's really quite pigmented on the lips as well. As I said I did have to top up a little bit there but that's just because I'm talking constantly right now. Okay so this was £2 so yeah, great little looking for that. I'm still testing it out to see how it's going to wear but yeah, really love the shade of it. The thing I picked up is this little set here which is so pretty and I think this is supposed to be like a dupe or they're kind of doing a kind of look alike to the kind of whole um lip kits and stuff like that as well so yeah I really think this is like a dupe for that and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's going to go because the shade in this little lip kit just looks amazing like for this time of year it's this kind of plummy cranberry shade you get the matte lipstick and you also get the matte lip liner so again it's just basically like those lip kits especially from the Kardashians and uh, from Kylie sorry I'm um, pretty much just basically catching on to that and they're just sort of doing things very very similar I'm going to be doing like a 
full kind of first impressions of new Primark makeup coming up on my channel. So if you do want to see that video then hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified when that is up. Okay so the next two makeup bits I picked up are these mascaras here. Now this mascara is like one of my favourite, this probably is my favourite mascara apart from the Lash Sensational Mascara but this mascara is incredible. Like I couldn't see it for a while in Primark. It came back and it's slightly different with the packaging like the whole kind of gold bullet style is the same really but the thing that's slightly different is how they've named it like they've done a different font on it which is the PS Falls Lash Effect Extreme Length Definition and Volume Mascara. Now I don't know whether it's the same as the other one I had hopefully it is because it looks exact same hopefully the formula is still the same inside because this gave me crazy long spidery lashes which I absolutely love so hopefully it's the same I'm really looking forward to testing it out and getting back to this mascara because I love it and it is so much more cheaper than like than the Maybelline Lash Sensational even though it's not too to that mascara because it is still drugstore but this one is a lot lot cheaper okay so the next thing I picked up are these two foundations here well they're actually BB creams and I got the shade beige and I got the shade bronze now I picked up two of them because I'm not too sure how they're going to go like, in terms of shade. I didn't see any that was slightly lighter on this. No, I did see one that was slightly lighter which was ivory. But that just looked too kind of white and like not for me really. Um, but yeah, I picked up these which is probably going to be too dark for me maybe. But if I have quite extreme dark tan on and it will match perfectly. However, I'll see which one goes the best and then the other one I'll just give to my mum because she's slightly darker skinned than me. Now, hopefully this goes quite well because BB creams for me is always kind of hit and miss. Um, sometimes they're good, sometimes they're not, sometimes they're patchy. Okay, so the next thing I got is this here, which is from the PS Pro range. And I actually wanted to get quite a lot more from the PS Pro range. Like, I wanted to try their foundation, but they only had like one shade of the foundation sitting there, which was like chestnut, and that's just like too, that's going to be too, too dark for me. This is the PS Pro Long Wear CC Concealer. So this corrects redness. I like to conceal my under eye area here and I use quite a bit of concealer there that is a little bit lighter than my skin tone just so that it corrects, like covers the redness and also brightens up as well. So I kind of do that down there but I wanted to see how one of these would go. So this is what it looks like here. It is like this green, green formula because green is supposed to correct redness. I mean normally when I just conceal my under eye area it takes the redness away quite well because it's not too bad to be honest but that's the bit that I always like to make sure it's completely the colour there and away. Yeah I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to go because I haven't really done any of this kind of colour correcting before so it'll be a challenge for me and I'm looking forward to seeing how it's going to go. The next thing I picked up is this blush and I don't have a blush from Primark like already so this will be good to find out how the blush is going to go um, and I was sitting like literally comparing a lot of the blushes um, and a few of them were all kind of shimmery but I picked up this one here which is Amaretto and it looks as if this might be a matte shade and it's like this sort of peachy like, like a very subtle peachy salmony shade which is absolutely gorgeous and it looks matte I've swatched it on my finger already and it looks matte um, and the other ones are all kind of shimmery which I don't really like I don't really like shimmery blushes too much so yeah this is a matte one and I'm looking forward to seeing how this is going to, how this is going to go and I think this might have been £2 as well ok so the next thing I picked up is a set of eyelash curlers now I love Primark's eyelash curlers like they are just like really great like I love the kind of rubber bit on it because it's all easier for you to squeeze because there's some eyelash colours that are like really inexpensive and inexpensive ones that can be quite hard to squeeze like you know they're quite stiff there's I don't know like the rubber bit's really stiff as well but usually Primark's ones are a little bit easier to sort of like squeeze like your lashes sort of thing so anyway I really do like their eyelash colours and I picked up another set because I feel as if you can never have too many to be honest because if I go away anywhere on that I put them into like my travel buy stuff like that so yeah always like to keep a few of these handy. Okay, so the next thing I have is this concealer. It's illuminating concealer from the PS Love range as well. Now, this is quite unusual because it is a clicky one. I've never really tried a clicky one. So what you do is you just use it like a pen and you click this and I'll go do it because it'll squirt everywhere. So once I use that kind of green concealer, I will then be able to go in with this on top to kind of highlight my under eye area and kind of like and make it extra more concealing. So yeah, Really looking forward to seeing how this is going to go and this was only £2 or £2.50 or something like that. Okay so the next thing I have is this little mirror here and this is only a pound, like it's one pound for this, these little handheld mirrors which is great. And this says I'd rather be contouring. So I've picked up another one of these even though I don't really need it but I did pick it up because um, like I could throw one in my handbag then because I always use this little guy, this one here to death, like this is the 
Kardashian one. We love this. These little mirrors in the room that a quid. So yeah, we're loving these. Okay guys, so that's everything for my Primark haul and I can see that my lipstick is still slightly hanging on there. It has sort of wore away again from the outer corner, but again that's probably usual for the matte lippies, but yeah. So I'll probably go and top that up again in a minute. But anyway, that is it for this pre call. I really hope you liked and enjoyed it. And stay tuned for my first impression of the new pre makeup coming up. Um, so yeah, give this video a massive thumbs up if you liked and enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel down below. And I will speak to you very soon in my next video. Bye. Mwah.